Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a rasam recipe made in the traditional way. This garlic flavored rasam can also be had as an immune boosting soup. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. To make rasam, I'm first soaking a small piece of uh, tamarind. I've added the tamarind into a small bowl and uh, I'm adding in some water. Lightly squeeze the tamarind. And I'm going to allow the tamarind to soak in the water for 5 minutes or until I get the other ingredients ready. Into my small stone grinder, I'm adding in a handful of garlic loaves. This is half pod of garlic. Into that, I'm adding in 4 piri piri chillies, also known as bird's eye chillies. This chilli is known as kandari molaga in Malayalam. It is very spicy. So adjust as per your taste. If you don't have a piri piri chilli, you can use ordinary green chillies instead. Into this, I'm adding in fresh curry leaves. Curry leaves is a rich source of iron and folate. So if you have access to garden fresh curry leaves, try to include curry leaves in your diet. And I'm lightly crushing all this. With a spoon, lightly mix this and again crush. Into this add in one and a half teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds. Jeera helps with digestion and also will give a nice flavor to the rasam. So that is one and a half teaspoon jeera. One teaspoon whole black peppercorns and crush them along with the garlic, green chilli and curry leaves. In between with a spoon give it a mix. And now everything is coarsely ground. Stone grinding helps to preserve the micronutrients. So whenever it is possible, use a stone grinder to grind the ingredients. Into a bowl, I am squeezing in the tamarind juice. Another cup of water. Again squeeze. And strain into the bowl. Into this, I am chopping in one tomato. I am using organic country tomatoes which I sourced locally. And with my hand, I am lightly squeezing the tomato. I am adding in another glass of water. So altogether I used three glasses of water. To make the rasam, I am using a soapstone. Traditionally, rasam is made in soapstone vessel. Turn on the flame and lightly heat the soapstone vessel. And once it starts to get heated up, add in one tablespoon wood pressed coconut oil. Instead of wood pressed coconut oil, you can use any locally sourced wood pressed oil from the place you live in. Remember that healthy cooking is all about using the right quality of oils. Try to include wood pressed oils in your diet for better health and for better nutrient absorption. Healthy fats helps in better assimilation of fat soluble vitamins. And once the oil is heated, add in 1 fourth teaspoon fenugreek seeds also known as uluva in Malayalam. 1 teaspoon mustard seeds and once it splatters reduce the flame to the lowest and add in 2 to 3 whole red chillies and just breaking into small pieces and adding in remember the flame is on the lowest into this I am adding in the crushed ingredients give it a stir Allow it to saute for about a minute so that the raw flavor of the garlic are diminished. Soap stones retains more heat just like cast iron. So put the flame on low. Into this I am adding in half teaspoon turmeric powder. Today I am using organic bygone turmeric which has high curcumin content. Heing or asafoetida as needed. Add in half teaspoon Kashmiri chili powder. Give it a stir. Add in the tamarind and tomato water. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. 
put the flame on high and bring this to a boil I'm just giving it a stir so that the salt is nicely dispersed to help balance all the flavors I'm adding in one teaspoon organic jaggery powder give it a stir at this stage you can check salt if you feel you need more salt you can add in and once it boils reduce the flame to the lowest and I'm chopping in a handful of coriander leaves and give it a stir allow it to simmer for about a minute or two remember that the soapstone is heavy bottomed and it retains more heat and after about one and a half to two minutes turn off the flame and cover it with the lid let it sit for about two minutes and then you can serve it with hot steaming rice or enjoy this as an immune boosting soup so guys do try this healthy garlic flavored rasam recipe and uh, let me know how it turned out thank you for watching and until next time take care bye bye